Cryptoorganisms are otherwise known as undescended testes. So it's when the testes aren't formed, uh, well, the testes are formed within the child, but they haven't necessarily descended into the correct position, which is within the scrotum. In babies, babies who are born at term, so who are born at 37 to 42 weeks, around 4% of those babies might have uh, what we call an undescended testis. And the testis is either palpable, so you can feel it within the groin, but it's not within the scrotum, or it's impalpable in that you can't feel it. And about the um, majority of those will actually then descend into the scrotum as the baby grows. But if they're still not there by the it's six months or so, that's about 1% of children, and they will then probably need to go on to have some sort of operation to discover really what, where, either fix the testicle or discover where the testicle is. So it's rare that it would become a medical emergency. Sometimes in undescended testes, if they aren't picked up, they are at slightly higher risk of their twisting in the groin so at some some children they can twist in the groin and if the testicle is twisted then that is an emergency to untwist it but the idea of surgery is that you try to operate between the ages six months to 18 months in order to give that testicle its best option so there are some there is some evidence that if you wait a longer period of time it can affect the sperm production in the testicle so ideally you want to try and fix them within six months to 18 months No, nothing. So having an undescended testicle or cryptoorganism isn't an emergency. Um, if the testicle um, is still within the groin or not able to be felt by the age of six months to 18 months, then we would advise surgery. But there's no um, emergency uh, operation with regards to that. It just requires an operation. Uh, surgery generally is required if the testicle isn't in the scrotum. The testicle, 80% uh, of the time, can be felt somewhere along the line of where it descends in, from the tummy down into the scrotum, which is either sort of along the groin, sometimes um, in the thigh sort of area. And in that uh, scenario, the testicles freed up from whatever's keeping it held in the wrong position and fixed into the scrotum, which is the right place for it to be. 20% of the time, the testicle can't be felt and hasn't actually gone out of the tummy down into the scrotum, or it just hasn't developed at all. And in that scenario, you'd need uh, to have a laparoscopy, so a telescope, um, examination of the tummy to see whether or not that testicle is formed and whether surgery is required.